Hi, this is Ashley reporting for Torrent Freak TV. Today we're going to be talking about why Michael Moore sucks, why Spore sucks, and why the director of Saw sucks. And TV shows. If you haven't seen Slacker Uprising yet, don't bother. We've heard it's horrible, and it's basically an homage to Michael Moore himself by Michael Moore himself. The film is freely available for download as a torrent from slackeruprising.com. Also known as Captain Mike Across America, it is being released with the hopes of bringing millions of new young voters out to the polls on November 4th for the U.S. presidential election. It markets itself as the first feature-length film debuting as a free legal download on the internet. However, we consider still this film as being the first. The movie is only supposed to be available on the internet and in the U.S. and Canada due to its copyright laws, but because of BitTorrent, it is now widely spread all over the world. To further complicate matters, lawyers representing Westside Productions LLC, the owner of Slacker Uprising Copyright, sent a U.S. copyright takedown request to Beachy Junkies DNS company, EasyDNS. The first problem is that EasyDNS is hosted in Canada and does not need to conform to U.S. copyright laws, and the second that BT Junkie is hosted in Sweden. And the third and most crucial problem is that EasyDNS is in no way liable for anything that BT Junkie does given that they are not a host, they are a DNS provider. As soon as the lawyers realized their mistake, they withdrew their takedown request. And just when they thought they got it right, they sent another email. This time, they actually managed to write to BT Junkie directly, but instead of pointing out the torrent on BT Junkie's website, they instead posted the link to the torrent on the site btmon.com. Stupid. Spore has been hyped to be the new IT game of the century, yet it has severely missed the mark. With its DRM limitations on installing the sold-in-store versions, it has made it much more ideal for users to illegally download the game instead. Those who bought the game have already discovered that they could only install the game a total of three times. However, EA has now upped the total installs from three to a whopping five times. Hmm. For those who downloaded the pirated version, I'm sure you've already realized you can play and install the game an unlimited amount of times. This has made Spore one of the, one of the most downloaded torrents ever. But don't even bother. We thought the game got boring in two hours anyways. And the tribal mode made me want to slam my face into the keyboard. Darren Bowsman, the director of Saw Films 2 through 4, has posted a request to his fans on the official forum for his new upcoming movie, Repo, the Genetic Opera, asking them to upload fake torrent files for his new movie's soundtrack. The fans who are posting these fake files go by the name Repo Army. As soon as the Repo Army started uploading the fakes to Pirate Bay, it didn't take long for the regulars on Pirate Bay to post negative comments on the torrent, which caused the elimination of the fakes from that site. However, the Repo Army did not just upload fakes to torrent sites, they also added the fakes to YouTube. Instead of stopping the piracy problem, he basically promoted the album and made it much more popular than it would have been its own right among pirates. Prison Break, House, Gossip Girl, Entourage, and How I Met Your Mother. These are all shows that did not make the top 10 this past week according to Nielsen ratings. However, those shows did make the cut for the top 10 most downloaded torrents. The difference between the torrent top 10 and the Nielsen top 10 are dramatically different. And here's a breakdown of what people are watching compared to what they were downloading this past week. So that's it for today. If you have any comments or you want to email me, please email me at tv at torrentfreak.com. So frack you.